Some kids ask me, what's the difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity? Teachers use the letter C for both of these, uh, depending on your teacher. So it can get extra confusing. What really matters here is that heat capacity has units of joules per degree Celsius, and specific heat capacity is joules per gram degree Celsius. The idea is that a specific heat capacity is for any amount of some substance, like water, is always 4.18, because that's the number of joules it takes to heat one gram by a degree Celsius. But a heat capacity that's non-specific, heat capacity, is for a particular object, like if you had a quantity of water, I don't know, 500,000 grams or something, it's going to take the same number of joules to heat that up by a degree Celsius as, uh, as the next degree Celsius, etc, etc. But it's going to be a different amount of heat than if you only had like a milliliter of water. Because there's no grams here, this is for an object that you already know has a specific mass and it's not going to change. Aluminum has a specific heat capacity of 0.891. That's just a true fact that I looked up online. But this block here, this is a 210 gram block of aluminum. It's going to have a heat capacity, even though the aluminum that it's made out of has a specific heat capacity. And the reason that this block has a heat capacity that's not specific is because we know the mass. And so this 210 gram block requires 0.891 joules of energy for every gram of it to be heated by a degree Celsius. If you multiply that mass times the specific heat capacity, it's going to give you the heat capacity of that particular 210 gram block. That is 187 0.11 joules per gram degree Celsius. So if this block goes up by a degree Celsius, we know it required 187.11 joules. Now we know that aluminum has that specific heat capacity, but for this particular block, we can use this number and a formula that's really similar. It's just Q equals C delta T because the mass has already been built in to this heat capacity, okay? If you have a different block, maybe it's only 209 grams, the heat capacity is going to have changed, even though the specific heat capacity of aluminum is always the same. Cool? The reason heat capacity exists at all, by the way, is because chemists have calorimeters that they do chemical reactions in, and the, the canister or the bomb calorimeter or whatever that they're using doesn't just change, it's the same amount of, I don't know, iron or aluminum or stainless steel or water that it's made out of. It's the same thing every single time. Rather than having to use Q equals MC delta T and build in the M every single time, it's easier to just measure the change in temperature multiply it by the heat capacity, and all of a sudden you have the joules of energy that was released in your reaction. It actually does make it much easier, but you need to know that you're using the same block every single time because you're building the mass into it. Cool? Best of luck.